your mic? Cary Scurry. C A R E Y S C U R R Y. Okay, cool. Can you tell us who you are? I'm Cary Scurry. Going to uh, the parents of Mildred Scurry and, and Edward Scurry. I'm um, from Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Started out there as a youth. And we moved to Bedford Stuyvesant in the Mecca of basketball. And where did you go to school at? I went to Alexander Hamilton. Did you have any favorite teachers there? Anybody who inspired you? No, just Coach at Haskins and the whole team of Aham, Rebels, the Jerry H. Reynolds, D. Washington, and Andre Irvin, and myself. And we had a 23 yards on each team. We were practicing at St. John's Rec under Lloyd. And that's all in Brooklyn, right? That's all in Brooklyn. Bethel Stuyvesant. Bethel Stuyvesant. And uh, besides school, what did you do when you weren't playing basketball? Well, riding bikes, flying birds, on the Cooper had on top of the roof. You know, but I forgot about them. I started to really get into basketball and a couple of them in Paris, you know. <laughs> but um, other than that, I just did local things the kids would do, ride a bike, go karts, you know. We used to make go karts by hand, right? By hand. <laughs> you create old shopping cart wheels. Cart wheels. <laughs> you know, you know, I had to big ride down Grand Avenue with East River and Williamsburg. And I left all that behind, you know. One thing about back in the day, anything you missed that, uh, any TV program you used to watch on TV when you had to relax? Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my mama. You know, a couple of them, what's happening. You know, the thing that inspired me, you know, Popeye and things like that. But I was up to as a younger age, you know, to my brother bust the door down and told me to watch uh, basketball. We had a, a family. We were known as the Scurry Brothers. We were the White Brothers, now the Brothers, Davis Brothers. So we had a tournament, so I was the missing link. Okay, okay, okay. And after that, no more cartoons. We got real. Any words of advice your brother ever gave you? Yeah, just just stay away from those. It was, it was a drug ep epidemic in our community. Okay. And I remember it, it, it resonated from an older player like George Gervin, who came to talk to me in my rookie year in, uh, in the NBA. And I wasn't paying attention to him. You know, and then I'm not gonna be like that guy. And lo and behold, I'm over here talking to the youth about my life with drugs and you know, outside of basketball. The challenges I had on the court against Michael Jordan, Dr. J, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, was nothing compared to the challenges I had off the court. Because these kids are gonna face, you know, in the time of adversity. And I was sharing my story there about that. And you have a book coming out. A book coming out, yes, the book is titled uh, A Hoop to the Journey. It depicted my life of fame and ultimately journey to prison. And it talks about, you know, the, my life off the court. So I want, I want to remember with the, for the youth today, like the ambassadors of the game of life. My mother Mildred. And so I came from a single parent household. And she just, you know, kept me grounded spiritually. I came from a Christian home. And uh, to this day, uh, she's not here with us anymore. May she rest in peace. And I'm just going to continue that legacy, you know, giving back to our inner city youth today, who's on the verge of totally ruining their lives. But I see it. You know, I can see in this, today's community that like our youth are going toward, you know, cigarette, uh, marijuana, and alcohol. These things coming in stages. And I see the influx of these youth when I was in prison coming in these prison systems. Like this system is selling our students, our, our youth, because I was one of those kids being pushed through school because of my talent. You know? So it's important imperative that they learn how to read and write. They're being pushed through school without knowing how to read and write. And you gotta read, the key. It's the key. You gotta learn how to read contracts and do math, how to build wealth, and learn the value of a dollar. You know? And I didn't learn that until later on, which I became broke. You know? And today I just give it back. That's more gratifying for me. Turning your life around, though. It's gratifying for me to get my story. And is there a way to find you on social media or anything? Yes, I'm on Facebook, Instagram. We are forming a website, a Hoops is Running website. Just spell your name one more time for those who are watching. Carrie Scurry, C A R E Y S C U R R Y. A Hoops is Journey. Hoops is Journey. So come along on Hoops is Journey. The worst thing that can happen to you is seeing yourself in the rare, unbiased look of an individual. Um, my name is Suleiman and I'm 12. My name my name is Mohammed and I'm 12. Good day. My name is Jaden and I'm 9. 
My name is Christopher and I'm 12 years old. My name is Abdullah and I'm and I'm 11 years old. My name is Raj and I'm 10. Don't knock that down and look at him, man. My name is Cameron, I'm 12. Listen, guys, what's in your team? Ice tea. Ice tea. Put your hands in. Put your hands in. One, three, one, say ice tea. One, two, three. Ice tea! from DJ Mario TV.